Hey everybody, it's Emily, the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the European Nightcrawlers. And I decided to take the rags off the top of this bin and I put the lid back on. Um, I found one more dead worm and it was really distressing for me um, not knowing what was going on. And I was thinking perhaps those rags at the top were getting dry and the worms were getting kind of stuck and that that could have been the problem. So I did bury these um, rags and things seem to be doing a lot better. This bin feels really warm, um, not hot, but it definitely feels warmer than what I've been used to lately in here. But wanted to see how they were coming along with their feeding. It looks like this apple is still just starting to break down. But that sugar that this will release will definitely be an attraction for the um, microbes to kind of get working. But these castings are looking super nice. I'm actually considering moving the contents of this bin into another bin that's a little bit larger that I'd be able to try to horizontally migrate them so that I can start um, harvesting a little bit because the majority of these castings look like they're done. I mean they're they're very much processed and finished so I'm thinking about doing that. Um, I might post a video later this week moving these guys to a new bin, but I don't think I'm going to feed right now since they still have that apple and since I'm a little bit concerned about the health of the bin just because I found a few dead worms. I mean, the rest of these guys look great, but um, it's still distressing to me. Any of you guys who are big into the composting know that your worms become like little mini pets and I don't like to think that there could be anything that I was doing that was hurting them but have a attempted escapee over here but everything is feeling really really good the castings look beautiful there's worms all throughout the entire bin um, I'm not seeing a ton of cocoons, and I'm wondering if it's because these guys are kind of reaching their capacity. And as I say that, I f there we go. That is a cocoon right there. Um, but I was thinking perhaps they were starting to feel kind of cramped in here. But very little unprocessed material. Um, very flaky. So I think I'm going to continue with having these rags buried and um, just letting some of this finish up. I did put some watermelon skins in here the other day. And there actually was some flesh left, but they look like they've eaten all of it. Watermelon's always a big hit. But it does look like they still have some food that they can work on in here. So um, I'm not going to feed. I will probably move these contents to a new bin. And I will bring you guys along for that update later this week. So I just wanted to give you guys a peek in here. Let you know what was going on. So drop your comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And I'll be back later this week, and uh, we will get these guys moved into a larger home. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.